The History of the Universe. This video goes over the complete history of the universe from Big Bang until now. Sit back, relax and take a trip through time. The Big Bang concept, which asserts that the universe began as an extremely hot, dense point around 13.7 billion years ago, is widely regarded as the history of the universe and how it evolved. So, how did the universe grow from fractions of an inch across to its current size? Here is a simplified timeline from the Big Bang to the present. Step 1. How it all began. The Big Bang, contrary to popular belief, was not an explosion in space. According to scholars, it was the manifestation of space everywhere in the universe. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began as a single point in space that was extremely hot and dense. Cosmologists are unsure what happened before this point. But scientists have been striving to paint a clearer image of the early universe and its development with sophisticated space missions, ground-based observatories, and complex computations. Observations of the cosmic microwave background, which contains the afterglow of light and radiation left over after the Big Bang, play an important role in this. This Big Bang relic pervades the universe and can be seen using microwave detectors, allowing scientists to piece together information about the early universe. NASA launched the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe Project in 2001 to research the early universe's circumstances by monitoring radiation from the cosmic microwave background. Among other things, WMAP was able to establish the age of the universe, which is around 13.7 billion years old. Step 2. The Universe's First Expansion when the universe was very young, something like a hundredth of a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, it underwent an incredible growth spurt. During this growth spurt, termed as inflation, the universe doubled in size at least 90 times. According to a theoretical astrophysicist at Princeton University, the cosmos was expanding, and as it expanded, it became cooler and less dense. The cosmos continued to expand after inflation, but at a slower rate. The universe cooled and substance developed as space expanded. Step 3. It is too hot to shine. Within the first three minutes of the universe's birth, light chemical components were produced. Temperatures decreased as the universe expanded, and protons and neutrons collided to form deuterium, a hydrogen isotope. Much of this deuterium was used to create helium. However, for the first 380,000 years following the Big Bang, the immense heat from the universe's formation rendered it virtually impossible for light to shine. Atoms collided with such force that they shattered into a thick, opaque plasma of protons, neutrons, and electrons that dispersed light like fog. Step 4. Let the light shine. Matter cooled enough 380,000 years after the Big Bang for electrons to unite with nuclei to form neutral atoms. The absorption of free electrons caused the cosmos to become transparent during this phase, which is known as recombination. The light that was released at the time is still observable today as radiation from the cosmic microwave background. However, the era of recombination was followed by a period of darkness before the formation of stars and other brilliant objects. Step 5. Coming out of the cosmic dark ages. The universe began to emerge from its dark ages some 400 million years after the Big Bang. The age of reionization refers to this stage in the evolution of the universe. This dynamic phase was assumed to have lasted more than a half billion years, but fresh findings suggest that reionization occurred faster than previously thought. During this period, clumps of gas condensed sufficiently to form the first stars and galaxies. The ultraviolet light emitted by these powerful events cleaned out and destroyed the vast majority of the surrounding neutral hydrogen gas. For the first time, the universe became transparent to ultraviolet light due to the process of reionization and the clearing of hazy hydrogen gas. Step 6. An increase in the number of stars and galaxies. Astronomers scour the universe for the most distant and ancient galaxies in order to better comprehend the features of the early universe. Similarly, astronomers can put together the events of the past by investigating the cosmic microwave background. Data from older missions, 
such as WMAP and the Cosmic Background Explorer, which launched in 1989, as well as missions still in operation, such as the Hubble Space Telescope, which launched in 1990, all aid scientists in their efforts to solve the most enduring mysteries and answer the most contentious questions in cosmology. Step 7. The birth of our solar system. Our solar system is thought to have formed around 9 billion years after the Big Bang, making it roughly 4.6 billion years old. According to current calculations, the Sun is one of more than 100 billion stars in our Milky Way galaxy alone, and it orbits the galactic center some 25,000 light years away. Many scientists believe the Sun and the rest of our solar system emerged from the solar nebula, a massive, spinning cloud of gas and dust. The nebula spun faster and flattened into a disk as gravity pushed it to collapse. The majority of the material was drawn toward the center during this phase to produce the Sun. Step 8. The Invisible Things in the Universe Astronomers began to suspect that there may be more mass in the universe than what is observable in the 1960s and 1970s. Vera Rubin, an astronomer at the Carnegie Institution of Washington, studied star speeds in several galaxies. According to basic Newtonian physics, stars on the edges of a galaxy orbit more slowly than stars in the center, but Rubin discovered no change in the velocities of stars farther away. In fact, she discovered that all stars in a galaxy appear to circle the center at roughly the same speed. This enigmatic and impenetrable material was dubbed dark matter. Dark matter is deduced from the gravitational pull it has on ordinary stuff. According to one theory, the mystery substance was created by exotic particles that do not mix with light or conventional matter, which is why it has been so difficult to detect. Step 9. The universe is expanding and speeding up. Edwin Hubble, an astronomer, made a startling revelation about the universe in the 1920s. Hubble discovered that the universe is not static, but rather expanding, while using a newly constructed telescope at the Mount Wilson Observatory in Los Angeles. Decades later, in 1998, the Hubble Space Telescope, named after the famous astronomer, investigated very distant supernovas and discovered that the cosmos was growing more slowly than it is now. This discovery was unexpected because it had long been assumed that the gravity of matter in the universe would slow or perhaps cause it to contract. Dark energy is supposed to be the odd force that is tearing the cosmos apart at ever-increasing speeds, but it goes unnoticed and stays shrouded in mystery. One of the most contentious issues in cosmology is the existence of this elusive energy, which is supposed to account for 80% of the universe. Step 10. We still have more to learn. While much has been established regarding the birth and evolution of the cosmos, there are still unanswered mysteries. Dark matter and dark energy remain two of the greatest mysteries, but cosmologists continue to probe the cosmos in the hopes of learning more about how it all began. The James Webb Space Telescope, which will launch in 2021, will continue the search for the elusive dark matter while also peeking back into time and the evolution of the universe with its infrared instruments. There is still so much more to learn. There you have our history of the universe from the Big Bang until now. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, and be sure not to miss any future videos.